Hi YouTube, I'm Ayman. Welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the auxiliary water pump for a 2004-2009 Toyota Prius. Now, this is uh, basically a part two of my previous video, which was how to remove the auxiliary water pump. So, uh, you might want to go check that out first if you haven't, because if you don't, then much of this might not make sense to you. So let's get right to it. So this is the spot where the uh, water pump should go. So we can see that there is a two spots for hoses. So one, two. There is uh, one fastener. I, I don't have the wire right now. There's one fastener that's supposed to go here. There's one cable that's supposed to go here. And there's also two bolts. So I'll point them out there. So there, one bolt goes there and another goes there. This is the cable. These are the two hoses, one, and the other one is down there. And finally, there is the fastener, which is this one, with wires attached to it. Okay. So we found out the easiest way for us to start was before you put any hoses or cables on, just to put it in and make sure that you orient it properly. So we also noted that it might be a bit harder for people with bigger hands to do this, but right now you just want to finagle it. And you also, before you want to do this, you also want to make sure... So right now, we have it in the right position. Right Before you do this, you want to make sure that all your wires are tucked away so you have enough space to put it in. So you can see these cables are tucked away to the side. And then after that, we can put this back hose, which is... Where'd it go? This, this hose in. Because the reason why is because this hose doesn't have much give, so you have to make sure that this is in before you have you put it in. So now we put the hose on. Alright, this is gonna be a hard angle to see. Alright. So I'm gonna try to do this so that you guys can see it to the best of my ability. And uh, I'm getting it on slowly. And while you're doing this, also make sure to be careful of the brake line. You don't want to break that either. Alright, so if it doesn't work, just slowly wiggle it on. And I think I got it on. All right? Uh, okay, so make sure it goes to the end of this notch. Just so it's secure. Sorry. Oh, there we go. So, almost there. And there we go, the hose is finally on. And now you can take a plier and clamp it back on. Or first, maybe you should put everything else on so that it's secure. All right, so in the end, we decided to put the clamp on anyway. So we put it in the right position uh, using clamps, uh, using pliers. And the next step is to put the hose directly into the heater core back. So that's also the same process. Uh, you also wanna make sure you don't uh, hit the brake lines, so. Just sort of finagle it. You might have to move the pump a bit, but don't worry. We're just gonna angle it back. And then, this one has a bit more give to it, but it's a bit harder to see from your angle. So just put it back on. Sorry, you guys can't see it. Alright, so it took a bit of finagling, but we finally got the other hose in. Uh, you might, uh, the reason that we don't have the clips of us putting them in is because they're rusted, so it takes a bit of, uh, a lot of, uh, trouble. So, the next step is to put back the cable. So, the first one is this, the first cable we're putting back is this back one. And the, sh the way it's shaped makes it so that you can only put it in one way. So, this, uh, curved side will be facing away from you. So, we're going to... We angle it away and make sure we turn this around. I'm sorry, you might not be able to see it. Alright, so we're going to put it in. Okay. And now, I'm going to insert it. Can you see it? Okay, yeah you can. So now, there should be a click, but... It looks like it's already in, but I, I don't hear any click, so hopefully, yeah, it's in, okay. 
All right, so next step is to put the this fastener in. So we're just going to finagle that out. What is... Is it stuck on? Oh, it's stuck on something. Okay. All right, so it's always a good idea uh, when you want to make sure something is in to try pulling it back out. And when you try to pull back the back cable, it doesn't come out. So next step is to take out, is to uh, insert this fastener. So if this is broken, uh, it's easy to just replace it. And oh, so these are really cheap and it doesn't need to be shaped like this because it's just aligning the wires. So next, this is just an easy snap it in. Uh, this one's a bit broken, so we might have to replace it in the future, but right now it's in. So the next step is to put the bolts back in. So let me just get them. So they're right here. So we're gonna put them one at a time. I'm assuming that we're gonna put the uh, back one first. So first you wanna do it with your hands. So just hold the, I might have to reorient the slide. So just hold the uh, pump so that you're able to insert the screw, All right, bolt, and so if you have smaller hands, it's easier, but it might be a bit harder if you have bigger hands. And it's always a good idea to have a telescope nearby, uh, the magnetic ones, so that if the screw falls, then you're able to put it back in. So an easy method in order to put these bolts in, because they're really hard to reach, is to tape it to your, uh, your socket. Uh, masking tape or blue tape works best, uh, I mean painter's tape. So this should make it easier for anyone who has big hands. So right now you just want to position it. And right now I'm going to reposition my pump and insert it. Sorry, you guys can't see it though. Oh, it fell. Let me get the telescope. That's why it's always a good idea to have a telescope on hand. And put it back in. I have to retape it. Okay, so it's back in. Remember to have the washer on it too. And just gently guide it. Oh, no, up through the brake line. Okay. Are you kidding me? off camera or maybe you can use a telescope to get it in so put it in like this maybe this will work I'm not sure though because this telescope is a bit broken okay this actually might work oh okay so I got it in now I'm just gonna screw it in I'll take the telescope off so you guys can see it. And all right, so it's in. I'll just screw it, screw it in a, a few times until it's somewhat secure, and then use the other bolt because you don't want to tighten it too much before you put the other one in, so you have a bit of give, so you can put the other bolt. It's right here. Just make sure that it, okay. So that's in. Uh, you might have to use the other method, the same method for the other one. Hey, what if it burns? Oh, okay. So we're gonna try to tape my fit again. And because it's harder to access, it should work better. So just sort of angle your flashlight so it's easier to see. Ours is already aligned properly. So right now we're just gonna screw it in. And then after, it's just plastic, but I'm pretty sure you can just tear it out. So set this aside, reach in and grab that socket. Or maybe I should use the Milwaukee first. Eh. All right. So we took the tape out. I mean, the socket out. And now we can tighten it because we both we know that both of the bolts are in there and they're in the right place. So it takes an extender. So if you watched the previous video, you'll recall that we used this huge contraption to uh, take out the bolts. So we're gonna use it to put it back in. Uh, you might not want to use the Milwaukee uh, because there's brake lines and you might hit them. Or at because it's a bit hard to access with the Milwaukee. All right, that makes sure this is 
Okay. So right now, we're just going to make sure we can access it. So position it correctly and put it on. Make sure you're twisting the right way. <laughs> All right, so I can see that the bolt is turning. And once it gets a bit tight, <laughs> okay, so it's tight. Just tighten it a bit more. And now we can turn our attention to the other one. And the other one is straight up, so you don't have to worry about having to use a contraption. angle my light so you guys can see it better ah. let me use the shorter I need to the bolt might need to stick out a bit so you can see Is it going in? Okay, I think it's going in. So you're gonna have to use a bit of your intuition when you're doing this. I'm sorry if you guys can't see it. Please tell me it's going in. Oh, okay. Also, want to make sure, make be careful that you don't uh, hit your knuckles while you're doing this. <laughs> okay, so as you've seen, there's a lot of twisting that needs to be done, and finally, it's tight. Oh. So let me just make sure I don't break these brake lines. And there we go. The bolts are both in. All right. So now that we have the bolts on, the next step is putting these cables back on. So because they're shaped differently. And they're also color coded. You can't put them in wrong. So this one corresponds to. Oh, also their orientation makes sense. So this one goes to this one because it's facing forward. So putting them in shouldn't be too hard. You should be looking for a snap when you put it in. So I think you guys heard that snap. This one also ha should have a click. You also have to make sure it's in the right orientation. So I think. This goes because the there's a when you look at this there's a notch and the not, there's a hole for the notch right here. Okay, so you heard that click and finally there's this black one. So you can't confuse this with the other ones because it's black. Now you just put it in. Okay, so now we're gonna do a test on all of them to make sure that they're in securely. And they're all insecurely, and we can't take them out easily. So, the next step is to put back this big cable. And that's what we're gonna have to take off the cover of the inverter for. So if you watched the previous video, you would know that the reason that we kept the inverter cover on was so... Second. so was so that we didn't damage the electrical components in the center right here. I just showed you how to install the auxiliary water pump uh, for a 2004-2009 uh, Toyota Prius. I said replace because this is the second part. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, our comment, subscribe. We've got videos on I and Iman. Uh, we're doing a lot of videos on the Toyota Prius uh, because it's a new car, and we're doing a lot of uh, refurbishments on it. And I think the next videos are replacing the coolant control valve, which is down there. 
and also do gonna do a video on how to bleed the system so go to go check those out if you want to and uh i'll see you then signing out peace